And in terms of the writing, um, is, is it something where uh, each of you write uh, on your own and then bring it into the group? Kind of, yeah. And with this, uh, this record then, um, was, it, was that the case as well, where everybody got ideas separately and then you work them out together or? Yeah, I mean, I've been working on like, yeah, I think I had like 15 songs, just working on them on the road and writing, you know, like back here backstage playing guitar. And uh, once we got off tour, took those songs and, uh, you know, Braun and I do a lot of writing together down at the practice space. So we would just bounce, I'd bounce, play the, play the riffs and he played to them and we'd record them and then we'd try singing over them and then we'd go back and re-record it a different way. And, um, yeah, you know, I think we got like seven or eight good songs out of the 15. Just kind of taking, sometimes cannibalizing a song and taking parts out and putting them into other songs and moving stuff around. So we just really focused on doing that a lot, you know, every day for months. With that in mind, then, would you say that the music comes first? Uh, oh, when yeah. You write? Yeah, the music always comes first. Okay. The lyrics are, they usually come last, like the vocals, but mm -hmm. with this new record, we would kind of do them almost at the same time. I mean, the music always first, and then the vocals started coming quicker and quicker with each song, mm -hmm. kind of like finish a song, sing on it, move on to the next song, sing on it, before we just write all the music, and then we put the... I think that probably has a lot to do with why the songs are more stripped down, because now we're we have a song and we put the lyrics to it and then we take away stuff that doesn't doesn't really stick it needs to be there do you remember what the first song was that you started on, on, on that ended up on the record um i think it was mm, high road okay. and then, then the first song um was it one of those things where this song, because you wrote everything while touring, or most of it while touring, right? Um, was it one of those things where the first song kind of function as, functions as a, a foundation and the other songs auto, uh, gravitate towards it? I don't know. Not really. Okay. I, don't, I don't think so. Well, I mean, a lot of people ask me that, but I think... So, I mean, sometimes you just start getting into a writing habit and... Mm -hmm. You know, with with each record, you know, the songs kind of follow the same pattern almost. Mm -hmm. I guess because um, I read somewhere that, that that at least someone in the band said that um, that the record, in, in terms of writing, was very much a continuation of, of the Hunter. Um, but then there's also this element of keeping it fresh and uh, surprising. So what um, I assume this comes through through uh, writing on tour and. Does, does touring an album influence the, uh, the writing that you do on tour? The, the type of music? Because you play uh, The Hunter so, so much? That Maybe. I don't, know. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. It ins you know. I just get inspired by whatever. You know, I have, try to have a guitar in my hands as much as possible. And I don't know if it's really a continuation of The Hunter because we don't really think in straight lines like that. You know, it's, it's just... Yeah, this is the new record. Okay. So, well, in previous, uh, not so much a uh, previous record, but uh, other records have been uh, a concept records in, in, in many ways. Mm -hmm. um, so before, started, before work started on this record, was there somewhat of an idea of what it should be like? Not really. I mean, once we came up with a title, Once More on the Sun, you know, that's just kind of a, you know, we kind of had a crazy, year when we were writing that, you know, a lot of, you know, just, I mean, you know, life happens, things happen to people and we lose people along the way and, you know, it's just kind of a culmination of all the crazy things that had happened to each one of us individually, you know, and we just kind of said, hey, it's, it's once more around the sun, it's like, here's another year in our crazy lives, you know, what was going on behind the scenes, so it's kind of, a, it's basically about that. Well, as a band, you've always been re really honest in your lyrics, but is it a difficult thing to do to take all these personal elements and... and uh... Well, I think it's cathartic, you know, it's, 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 it's good to get it off your chest, you know, and I think it helps other people who listen to it, and 
might be feeling like it's speaking to them personally, like it's that same problem is happening to them. But that's the thing I like about our, our lyrics is they're kind of open to interpretation. So whatever you hear, what you think you hear is what it means to you. Because I believe um, with that in mind that uh, each member in the band has a quite distinct approach to this record as well, that are a, a distinct interpretation. Is, is that right? Sure. Well, the, the, I read somewhere that that in, because each uh, at the, because of the title, each year for you has been different, and it's all separate. So, do you look differently at at the album, and in, in what way? Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how the other guys look at it. I can only speak for myself. You know, to me, it's new and fresh, and it's uh, you know, I got to get a lot of my you know songs out off my chest, out of the. Mm -hmm out of my head, you know, because I had a lot, a lot of the riffs I'd had for years and they just never made it onto a record, so the time has come that they finally come out, so. In, in that sense then, do you discuss the lyrics? If, if say, you write a certain style I don't write any lyrics, so I don't really discuss them. But is there a discussion amongst the band about the lyrics? Yeah, sometimes, I mean, you know, by now Braun does a lot of the lyric writing, so. Mm -hmm. He'll explain it to the other guys if he's writing a part that they're singing, you know, what it means and how to sing it, how he wants it sang. Okay. Um, well, uh, one thing I also want to talk about is the artwork. Uh, at what point in the process did the artwork pop up? Well, the artwork was always, you know, moving from the very beginning. And I didn't see it until, you know, it was almost finished. I saw a little snippets of it you know like as he was doing it he'd send mm -hmm. us pictures and I was just like wow this is gonna be a real awesome awesome cover mm -hmm. incredible yeah very trippy and I, I think it's it's described as a psychedelic nightmare um, oh sure pictures or something but mm -hmm. um, did it have a certain meaning for you did you um, give some instructions to, to the artist and saying, well, we're trying to convey something? Yeah, I think so. You know, we told them, you know, it's, it's about, a, you know, life struggles and losses and, you know, it's called Once More Around the Sun. So it's, you know, a year in the life of the, takes the earth a year to go around the sun, you know, so it's got, I mean, I don't really know, to me, it's like there's the good angel and there's the devil and the two the two guys on the cover are, you're kind of caught in between, you know, good or bad. That's kind of how I look at it, you know. Okay, and um, I, I believe in previous years, up until 2011, you used the same person for the artwork, so, mm -hmm. um, and I think last time you didn't, but was there a, why, why the change? I don't know, just a new album, new era, okay. some fresh artists, you know, I mean, we really love Paul Romano, I think he's great, but uh, I don't know, we're just trying to keep it, keep it new, you know, I mean, when we first started working with Paul, he only worked for us, and now, you know, he's done album covers for other bands, and it's kind of, you know, we just feel like branching away from that, I think. Okay. And um, final question, uh, you also mentioned that for you the album feels very fresh, um, in what way? Um, musically, it's just, especially? musically, it's a new chapter, a new direction for our band, you know, it's not a com complete right turn, but it's just a slow, like a five degree turn in, this, in a little bit different direction. Mm -hmm. I just think it's, you know, the, the record is it's really fun to play live, the, the new songs, and it's very energetic, mm -hmm. and it's, you know, when, you, when you've been playing the same songs for three years, you know, it's always good and fresh and feels good to get new material to work on, to play, you know, it's just healthy. This, this direction where it's, where it's slightly veering into, do you know what it is or? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's the unknown, you know. And um, well, the last two albums have done well in the mainstream uh, as well. So is that something that um, is in the back of your mind when you write songs or when you're, when you're playing them? Not really. It doesn't, it doesn't ever occur to me like, oh, we need to write something a little softer or, you know, it's just the natural progression of like, we, you know, we've always been kind of 
faulting in the vocal department, you know, mm -hmm. from the very early days, and we're getting better at it. So now it's now we're kind of writing the songs around the the, the vocal ideas, you know, mm -hmm. giving it lots of melody, okay. which is something we've always wanted to do, but we just haven't been able to do it in the old days. So we're just kind of shifting gears, trying to get better at singing. And, Does it help then that you have three people in the band that sing? Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you. Okay.